Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Uh, today I'm going to open a couple boxes and try out these products. Uh, hopefully they will help me with my garden, make it a little easier on me. Uh, I'll show you the first one and uh, then we'll come back and open this one and show it to you. I would not blame that. Sorry. Damage. Oh, that's okay. Those products okay. Under my bed that I got last year before I got hurt. Are you recording? Yeah. On which camera? Focal. This one's off. It's the battery died. This is a bub plant, and I got it to see if I could remove those wild onions with it.
pull the hose back in. Be easier if the ground was wet. So this is a bud planter to plant your spring bulbs or your fall bulbs. But uh, I bought it to see if I could use it to get these onions out. Because it's such a job to dig these things. And this actually worked pretty good. I like that it has a hole to dump the dirt out. Instead of you trying to force something down a pipe to get it out. Because I did think about using a pipe. Try to pull these things up out of the ground, it releases the little ones and leaves them in the ground. This brings the little ones up with it. So, uh, yeah. we'll get busy and try to get some of these onions out of here and so I can get my flowers planted. Okay, this bud planter works really well for removing the wild onions or wild garlic, whichever you prefer to call them. I didn't know if it would work or not, but it is. It's going to make life so much easier on me. And if you're an older person, that really means something. Because uh, that bend over and digging is hard for a person after so long. It does leave a hole in the ground. You do have to dig your hole back up. And don't do like me. Put a pond on the ground because i got to clean that up. Get you a bucket or a bag to put you that dirt in. Um, I haven't used it for planting bugs yet, but I do have some uh, gladiolia bugs I need to get in the ground, so I will be using this again, and I definitely will be using it to get the rest of the things out of my garden. Okay, hey, box number two. Thank you. 
uh, but this will not have to be charged before I can try it out. something to uh, break the soil loose when I go to digging and putting plants in the ground. I wanted something that wasn't too heavy for me to use or too big. charges. Yes, I'm one of the people that will put stuff together that look at the instructions. Somebody's trying to remove the dead of There it goes. in place how you put this back on. Once you start using it, you'll want to adjust your handle where you need it, where it's comfortable for you to use. Okay, so 
so looking through that instruction manual, it doesn't show putting these two pieces together. So my son was looking at it and uh, saw that this pulled up. So we think it just slides together, so we're going to try it. If you want to take it back apart, you push this thing. Pull that up, too. push this down, pull it back apart. I'm going to leave it laying here. Make sure the plates are away from the table. That's how it comes back apart. So he was right. Sure locks in. We start it. We start it. You uh, push the safety in. So I do have to fully charge it, but we will test it here just in a minute. I just want to play with it for a second. So I'll get my handle adjusted where I think it's comfortable. Probably all the way down. You really won't know until you use it a little bit. Baby onions I missed. Let's try this. pretty good what I'll need it for okay guys I guess these have become my two favorite garden tools right now uh, the buff planter does come with these two discs where you can slide them up on the pipe to adjust the depth that you want to uh, dig your hole I probably won't never use them but as far as getting them wild onions and garlic out of your yard or out of your beds anyway uh, this works really well, and I like the fact it has the hole in it to dump the dirt out, so you're not having to try to, to dig that dirt out the pipe. I'm a little uh, unsteady using it right now, but first time trying it out. You know, sometimes it takes you a little while to get used to using something. I really like this little tilter. Uh, it's called Yukoki. It says you can use it about all types of soil, uh, not to use it in rocks, but I've got the rocks in my yard or in my ground. But really for any tiller, you don't use uh, them in rocky ground. Once if we get it charged, I want to work up some areas and get some flowers planted, and we'll show you that in another video. So y'all take care and stay safe. I guess these have become my two neighbor, two neighbor.